Hi, this is James and Chris Guerrero, and uh, we're here, we're gonna show you the six basic working positions. These working positions are the positions in jujitsu that we that is our goal that we use to hold the opponent down so that we can apply a finish. The first basic uh, working position is the full mount. Just Chris down. The full mount's pretty simple. It moves over. A lot of details on learning how to hold the opponent down, but the basic position for the full mount is knees on the mat, feet in close, palms down on the, on the mat as well, and this is the, the full mount position. From the full mount, the second position is the side control. The side control, I'll just move one leg over. My right knee is gonna be in the hip. My left knee is either gonna be under the shoulder or it can be straight back as well. But it's under the shoulder, right hand is gonna be under the arm. My left hand on this side is going to make with the right hand what we call a gable grip. The gable grip clenches like this. I'm able to put pressure inside, drop my left shoulder in underneath the face, and I hold my head low. And this is a basic side control position. Left knee can be up or left knee can be down up or down but this is the side control holding position different different things you can do with your hand gable grip a good good position to practice and to work side control from the third position is going to be our case of or our scarf hold it's much like side control hands going to be under the shoulder and we're actually going to catch the collar with our with our right hand here Left hand is going to go under the elbow, and I'm going to turn my bottom knee forward and set on my hip here. If what I do is on my feet, I raise my hip and I pull the hand, keep the head low on this scarf hold. This is called a modified scarf hold because it's not around the head position like in judo. It's underneath the arm, back of the collar, hold the bottom of the elbow. From here, I'm going to change the position from side control. I can grab the collar under the arm, move into this modified scarf hold, hold from here. I pull the tricep and really put my body down into my opponent here. Next position is what we call the knee on belly. The knee on belly position I'm going to start from a standing position facing the head on my opponent. My knee is going to move down across the stomach. Across the belly, it's what's called knee on belly. Hand is gonna be underneath the arm. Grab the, the uh, tricep or grab the gi. Right hand's gonna be on the lapel. Back's gonna be straight. Left foot's going to be out where he can't grab a hold of it. And I have all my weight down on him from here. This is knee on belly position. So I'll move in. Knee on belly, back straight. Holding from here. Next position is what we call the north-south. Kids call it the belly and face technique. Hands are going to be on the belt or on the side. Elbows are going to be tucked. Knees are going to be up on the shoulder. And we're going to, I'm going to want to bring my elbows to my knees. And I'm going to use my chin and put it down in the sternum. Knees need to spread out enough that your hips are going to lower. And in judo, it's called the four corners hold because it controls the hips, keeps them solid, and controls the upper body. Watch how my body falls or settles on my opponent when I move my knees out. They can settle down. I can be on the balls of my feet. I can be on the flat part. But I want my hip to lower and hold him down from this position. Last position is the back position. As my opponent's up, um, first there's two parts to the back position. The first one is called the seat belt grip where the top hand moves over the shoulder on one side. My left hand's under Chris's arm. I'm gonna make a gable grip, or actually just grab my wrist on the other side. As I set back, my feet are going to do what's called the hooks. So the two positions are the hooks and the seat belt. And on this, on the seat belt technique, I want to take my chin and always keep it real close to the head here. 
From here I can use the inside ridges of my arm and pull it in tight and keep the person tight from here. Seat belt the other side and the hooks. And that's the back position from there. That's the six basic working positions in jujitsu.